Is it Polish or Czech? Hi everyone, in today's video I'm gonna explain you the Latin version of the Belarusian language. Uh, in the previous video about the difference between Belarusian and Russian languages, I have already mentioned that there are two versions of the Belarusian language, Cyrillic and Latin. And Latin is not so often used, uh, but nevertheless, uh, you all, sometimes you can see it uh, in uh, the city, in Minsk uh, and other towns, so it's pretty necessary to explain it. First of all, both Cyrillic and Latin alphabets initially were not created for the Belarusian language. Uh, the Cyrillic alphabet was created by Kirill and Mephodi uh, for the old Slavic language, and uh, the Latin alphabet was created as is pretty obvious for the Latin language that was used in the Roman Empire. The medieval Latin language uh, came to the Grand Duchy of Lithuania in 13th, uh, 14th century and it was used uh, in the documents by uh, the founder uh, of this country, Mindel. In the 16th century, uh, in the Polish crown, uh, the Belarusian texts started to be written in Latin. Uh, at that time, uh, the students of all uh, confessions in Belarus studied the Latin language, so they were pretty familiar with it. At first, uh, almost entirely was used uh, the Polish alphabet. It means that sounds like uh, shu, shu and zhu were written uh, with the help of digraphs. Uh, the sound uh, will was uh, uh, written by uh, the letter W as uh, in German and uh, the sounds uh, W, Z and J were not expressed at all. In the 19th century many Belarusian writers started to use uh, the Latin alphabet to write their text and uh, also the, well, one of the main heroes of Belarus, uh, Kostus Kalinowski, used Latin in his uh, newspaper uh, Muzhitska Pravda. The interesting fact is that uh, the notorious ban of the Belarusian language during the Russian Tsarist rule concerned only the Latin version. That was uh, a huge damage to many writers that uh, were of the Catholic faith and usually used uh, Latin to write their texts. The Belarusian uh, Latin was banned uh, until uh, 1905. Uh, at the beginning of the 20th century, uh, two newspapers started to use Latin, Nasha Dolya and uh, Nasha Niva. After the First World War, it has become obvious that it's necessary to organize and structure the Belarusian and Latin alphabet. And that was made by the famous Belarusian linguist Bronislav Tarashkevich in his book uh, The Belarusian Grammar for Schools or uh, Belaruska Grammatica de Shkol. This organizing was actually not made from scratch. The main principle of uh, uh, writing Slavic languages in Latin was described uh, back at the beginning of the 15th century by a famous Czech hero, uh, Jan Hus. This uh, principle is quite simple. Uh, one national sound is expressed with one Latin letter and if the national sounds, sound uh, differs from the Latin sound, uh, then it is described with the help of additional sign. As a result, the Belarusian Latin language has become less similar to Polish. Uh, for instance, uh, the sounds ch, sh, and z start to be written, well, as you can see uh, below. The final step that made the Belarusian language even more different from Polish uh, was made in 1926. Uh, then uh, the sound V uh, was expressed uh, with the letter V and not letter W as in Polish and German. Uh, the logic of this replacement is pretty obvious. Uh, the letter V uh, requires uh, less pace. The sound H uh, 
is just is replaced uh, with digraphs uh, ch, and the softness of consonants uh, is described with letter i. Here you can see a couple of uh, examples in Cyrillic Belarusian and in Latin Belarusian. During the Soviet era, uh, the Latin version uh, was associated with uh, anti-Sovietness, so actually it was banned. But after the Soviet Union collapsed, uh, the Latin version came back to life and started to be used uh, by uh, the newspaper Nashaniva, which uh, has already been mentioned before. Then, in 2000s, there was created an official uh, version of Belarusian Latin. The difference between official and classic Belarusian Latin is uh, in the sound L. Uh, in official Latin, uh, it is expressed well, simply with a different, well, and probably uh, more uh, usual uh, letter, like as a phrase in the English language. It's also necessary to say that the Russian language, unlike Belarusian, does not have an organized and uh, standardized uh, version of Latin. And, that's create, and that creates uh, some problems for writing names, for instance. Nowadays, the Belarusian Latin is used in the names of the streets, uh, metro stations, just some random places and also bands that usually sing in Belarus and prefer their uh, Latin version as well. So that's it for this video and now I have a question to you. Uh, have you ever known about the existence of the uh, Belarus and Latin before my video? Please uh, leave your comments uh, in the section below and like, share, subscribe. See you in the next video.